Khalid says, while returning from a tour, I reached my city at 3 p.m. Asr time is 2.45. Should I offer Dhuhr on the train or after reaching my home, I should combine the prayers with Asr? If I combine, should the Dhuhr be shortened or not? Now, the scenario is he's out of city limits, his own city limits, which means he's a traveler. He's entitled to shorten and combine. While going back to his hometown, Dhuhr time was due. So he has one of two options, either to pray on the train, shortening his Dhuhr into two rak'ahs, and he has the option of combining Asr to it, also two rak'ahs, or delaying and postponing his Dhuhr so that he can pray it at Asr time when he reaches home. Which is best? Well, those who travel a lot know that it is almost difficult, if not impossible, to stand up in a crowded train, face the Qibla, and pray normally. This is difficult, if not po impossible. So the best scenario would be that you wait until you reach your home, you pray for Raka'a Dhuhr, and then you pray for Raka'a Asr, and you have done the Sunnah without any problem in that, insha'Allah. Whether you shorten your Dhuhr to two Raka'as, once you arrived your home or not, this is an issue of dispute. Some scholars say, because it was mandated upon you as two rak'ahs, when the time was due, you pray it two rak'ahs, even if you reach your home. But the vast majority of scholars say that you have to pray them full, and this is uh, uh, to be on the, on the safe side as well.